Five former Memphis police officers involved in the beating death of Tyree Nichols are now facing federal charges for violating his civil rights. Nichols died three days after he was beaten by police during a January traffic stop earlier this year. The officers all pleaded not guilty to state charges of second-degree murder. For more on this, I'm joined by CBS News Chief National Affairs and Justice Correspondent Jeff Begays. Uh, Jeff, good to see you. Tell us uh, about these charges in this indictment. Well, this slide adds to the federal charges or the state charges that have already been leveled against these five officers. This is a federal case, uh, four counts, and the counts include uh, obstruction, contributing, essentially contributing to a police report that did not tell an accurate story of what happened that day last January, and then also using excessive force and other counts on top of that. With all these counts, these five former officers could be sent, sent to prison for decades. So these are, of course, serious charges. They are civil rights charges from the Department of Justice. And what we've seen over time with uh, the Department of Justice under A.G. Garland is that these are the kinds of charges that they bring against police officers who are accused of or alleged to have committed acts that uh, are excessive force. And so this is another tool that the Department of Justice has been using to root out allegedly bad cops. So then what happens next? What's the timeline going to look like for a case like this? Uh, it's, a, it's a whole bunch of uh, court dates, which will come. And then, of course, they have the court dates and the, the state charges that they face. So this is going to drag out. But what is also important to mention is that these five officers were part of what was called the Scorpion Unit. unit. This was a unit that was created to help bring down crime in Memphis. Memphis has had a problem over the last several years with rising crime. But what prosecutors are alleging here is that these officers went too far. They used excessive force, and then they tried to conspire to cover up what they had allegedly done, according to prosecutors. So there, there are going to be a lot of uh, court cases for these five officers going forward, as you mentioned, and the state charges they pleaded not guilty in this federal case. Uh, they are claiming their innocence, and now they're going to have to go to court to prove it. So, uh, Jeff, uh, just for our viewers to understand clearly, how different is the state charge uh, the, then the, uh, how different is it from the state charges that the officers already face? These are civil rights violations, uh, according to the Department of Justice, which will uh, result, if there's a conviction, in tougher penalties, longer prison sentences. And so uh, this is a tool, as I mentioned, the Department of Justice has, according to some of the statistics we've seen, used about 100 times. They've had 85 convictions, so they have a pretty good record in proving their cases. And they feel like they have a pretty good case in this one because of that disturbing video where you see the five officers pounding, kicking uh, uh, Tyree Nichols, a 29-year-old man who, according to initial reports, was fighting back. But then that video came out, and, and you can clearly see in the video that he's not fighting back, that he's being pummeled by these officers. And so federal investigators believe they have a strong case. We'll see where it goes. We will, Jeff. Thank you very much.